Good day everyone, this is Mike Pado once again returning to our tropical weather analysis and this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclone and this is for today, Monday through Wednesday, July 6 to 8, 2020. And we begin with our update. Here's the latest graph sat. Beginning today, Monday, until tomorrow, Tuesday, we have a strengthening of the easterly surface wind flow. And it's affecting the uh, eastern sections of the country, particularly uh, eastern Bicol region, the whole of the Visayas, and most parts of Mindanao. So expect some uh, sunny to partly cloudy skies. And in the afternoon or evening, there will be some increasing cloudiness or overcast skies and expect some rain showers and thunderstorms to occur in your areas especially if you are living along the eastern coastal areas of Mindanao and the Visayas. Elsewhere we have some good weather all across the archipelago with some partly to mostly cloudy skies and then in the afternoon or evening we have the usual localized uh, rain showers or thunderstorms due to convective heating and we have still here the uh, weak southerly wind flow blowing towards southern China and we have a stationary major front at this time right here along the areas of uh, southern China into Korea and Japan peninsulas. Outside the Philippine area of responsibility we have a couple of surface troughs but it is not expected to intensify or develop into a low pressure area all clear when it comes to the global typhoon models, it's still all clear until July 15. So uh, no development whatsoever. So we will continue to enjoy this uh, tropical weather, the easterlies and the localized uh, rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. And uh, that's the latest from our graph set. And as we look at our fast animation, you can see here some cloudiness brought about by the easterlies and some convective showers and thunderstorms in some parts of Luzon. And as we look at our zoom-in satellite animation from Umitsat, courtesy of windy.com, you see in the afternoon, uh, the building of thunderstorms can be observed here across some parts of Luzon, particularly Ilocos region and the western sections of central Luzon. And there are also some areas in uh, the southern portions of Metro Manila, there can be some showers in the southern Tagalog provinces, and small areas of eastern Bicol, uh, scattered areas of Visayas, and also here in most parts of Mindanao. And as we look at our rainfall accumulation for the next uh, three days from the ECMWF model, it is also from the windy.com up and you can see here some increasing uh, thunderstorm activity for the next three days in most parts of Mindanao including Sulu archipelago and also in small areas of Visayas and Eastern Bicol and likewise here along the uh, Ilocos region along the Cordillera mountain range and Benguet uh, mountains there could be some possible uh, showers and thunderstorms as well as in some areas of central Luzon including the mountainous uh, places of Sambales. And as we look at our three-day rainfall and wind forecast from ECMWF, also courtesy of windy.com, tomorrow, Tuesday afternoon, there could be some chances of rain showers and thunderstorms in some parts of the zone and also here in small areas of the Visayas and large areas of uh, Mindanao, especially over the central portions. And on Wednesday, Still some scattered isolated thunderstorms or rain showers will be expected in most parts of the country. And we could also see the winds from the easterlies you know, becoming uh, weaker and back to, uh, to its uh, variable winds all throughout the Philippine Islands. While the uh, southerlies continues to uh, increase here over the northern portions of the South China Sea. So that's it. That's the latest for this Monday through Wednesday, July 6 to 8. And we will be returning again on Wednesday to give you more tropical weather updates. From the YouTube channel of Mr. Typhoon, this is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. And thank you for watching our YouTube channel.